Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, we're going to fix if USB device is not recognized in Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. We will be doing very easy steps and we will together fix this problem. Please make sure that you do all the steps and one will definitely work for it. So here, the search icon type control. The moment you type control, you will find control panel and I'll click on that. Now, here you will see all control panel items like this. And if you do not see that, then change from category to view by large icons. So I have selected view by large icons and now I'm able to see this. Now, here we need to go to this power options and then we have uh, at the left hand side, we have this option called change when the computer sleeps. So I will click on that. And here we have this change advanced power settings. So once you do that, a new window will appear like this. Now here you will find the USB settings. Here in this uh, computer, I don't have USB uh, setting because it's a virtual machine. So here you will find the USB device. USB setting, you just need to click on that and there will be an option to um, enable and disable. So you need to disable that. If it's enabled, then disable it and then click on apply and then click on OK. Right. Once this is done, we will close this window and then we will do a right click in the start icon and then we will go to device manager. Now, once the device manager is opened, you need to go to this universal serial bus controller. Just do a double click on that. And here you will find two things, USB host controller. You don't have to do anything with the composite device. Just do a right click, click on update driver and click on search automatically for drivers. Do the same thing for another controller. Look for automatic update. And if it's update, if it's updating, well and good. If it doesn't, then you just need to do the right click and try to update all USB composite device and USB root hub as well. So here we see the composite device and USB root hub, whichever I give you an option to disable it, just disable it and then do a right click and enable it. So in this manner, you are actually refreshing the USB service and it should work. Now here, click on the search icon and type file and you will find file explorer and once the file explorer is opened go to this pc and then c drive and then we will go to windows and here look for inf so c windows inf and here we will be typing wp dmt wp dmt once you have typed it look for the inf file wpdmt and do the right click and click on install once you do that restart the computer and for most of us this will fix the problem and now we are moving ahead with the final step and let's go ahead and do that here in the search i can type disk space management you will find create and format hard disk partitions and you will find the disk management like this. You can also open by just doing the right click and then you can open the disk management. So once the disk management is opened, look for the USB device which is connected. All right. So let's say if this is a USB device and it is connected, then just do a right click and we need to change the drive letter for that. So here we will be changing the drive letter. Let's say if you, that USB device is E drive, then you can change it to any other like P, Q, R, S or whatever you want to. In this manner, once you click on apply and OK, it will start detecting here and it should work. All right. And once this is done, you need to restart the computer. And let me know in the comment section if that works for you. Also, you can repair, uh, win update your windows. So by just going to settings, try to update your windows in this manner as well. You fix lot of issues and your USB device starts recognizing and starts working. So please do let me know in the comment section. And if this tutorial is helpful, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.